Hey guys, today I'm just going to be showing you how to, um, don't know why that was clicked, anyway, um, how to install Pokemobs and they released a new update, 4.1, which um, added a couple of new things into it, so if you have the old version and you're just looking at this, um, stay stay on the video because this is the new updated version for Pokemobs. So what you want to do is look in the description and you'll see these links, Auto Mod, Turbo Model Thingy, and Pokemobs forum link and you'll have mod loader um, the reason why I have the mod forum link is because you want to go to the forum and check what they have in it and how to capture Pokemon and how to make stuff if you're doing it on a legit world and stuff like that because I won't have I don't have too many items on right now so what you want to do is come to all these links I'll just show you how to download them because they're all the same so what I do is obviously copy and we'll go on the internet and once you're on here just uh, once you're in the link, just copy it, and you'll come to this page. Add fly. It's alright. All you gotta do, don't click anything on the screen because you see, like, I'm a pencil. Don't click it because it's like an ad, and it might cause viruses and stuff. So, all you gotta do is click skip ad, then it might come up at the bottom because I've got internet now. And I don't know, but it'll come up to maybe media fire or just save it at the bottom. So, what you wanna do is you do that for every single one, and then what you wanna do is when you've got them all here. Um, this is what you definitely want to do, so you get no black screen or anything, because on my other videos, um, I've had a lot of people saying, oh, if you're getting black screen, or I've tried this, I've tried that, definitely do this, because there's no way you can actually get a black screen. So just delete the whole, wait, 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 wait. before you do this, right, say you have some saves, say you have a world that you want to keep, right click, copy, put it on your desktop, or you have texture packs you want to keep, right click, Let's say, oh it's a Pokemon texture pack, let's say I want to keep this one, or oh, just drag it onto the desktop, just drag it onto the desktop, drag everything you want um, from here, and make sure you've got literally everything you need, you save your texture packs and stuff like that, and what you want to do is delete, so from now on if you delete this and you lose anything, it's not my fault because I did tell you to copy it, so there you go, I deleted it, it's now in my recycle bin so I can't get it back if I want. So what I'm going to do now is rerun Minecraft, so it puts the .minecraft folder back in there, which is fresh and stuff. See how I don't have my username? I'm going to have to put it back in now, I'm Magic Pac-Man, and I'm not going to read that out, just in case, just in case you don't have a county on one. And so yeah, if you make sure, ah, you're just going to wait for this. Just going to update it, put .minecraft folder back in there with MetaRymph, which you're going to have to delete later on. So yeah, just gotta wait, just gotta wait, just gotta wait, just gotta wait. Mm. Boom, boom, there we go. Finally it's done. Good old Minecraft back. So now you wanna do, see how I have no texture packs. Now what I do is X off that, so you, you can't have Minecraft open. I'm afraid you can't have Minecraft open. So now what I wanna do is go on to run. Or if you don't go and run, you just type it in this little search bar at the bottom. Percent, just copy this down technically. Just technically, uh, let's, oh you can't make it bigger. Anyway, percent app data percent slash dot minecraft. And it takes you directly to this new folder. So now what you want to do is put your texture packs back in. I'll just put that one in just for, to show. Right, and then what you want to do is open your bin. And you see minecraft, not, if you have a minecraft dot 1.73 or whatever it is, 1.73. I don't know. Anyway, what you do is open with WinRAR, or unless it already has a little WinRAR icon, it has those little books, then you just double click it. But just for sure, then just open with WinRAR. You just minimize this down. Close. Now what you want to do is you see this meta inf in capitals, under misc, right click and delete files, or you can just click delete there. Yes. And it'll delete it. If you have Minecraft open, it'll say an error. So, now what you want to do is we open mod loader just double click and you see all these files what you have to do is um, you can have a control A but it'll select that let's try it yeah it'll select that so you don't wanna select that so what to do is just drag it and drag it down get this and then just um, drag it into minecraft.jar um, and make sure it says add and replace files uh, let's just oh well add and replace files and click OK and you see this that's highlighted, make sure the, the things didn't go in that folder. If they do, then just delete them and redo it. 
what I'm going to do is X off that. You don't need mod loader anymore, so you can delete it if you want, but just keep it in case you don't do it right. Now what I'm going to do with this is just click close off that. Is drag all these in, even the folders, even pulse code and IBXM. Drag all those in and OK. X off that. And the next is the turbo model thingy. You want to copy it. Uh, I hate that, it keeps coming up. Uh, drag them all in. Oh, no, I didn't even drag them. Drag them all into Minecraft.jar as well. I should really just wait a, make sure it says add and replace, remember. Um, X off that. Now what I'm going to do is open Pokemob, so what we're going to do is just going to cover it half the screen. That was kind of stupid. Um, let's just put it there. Open Pokemobs, and you'll have two folders, resources and everything. Um, everything in this goes to your dot .jar, it says. There you go. I'm going to double click that and you want to drag literally everything in there all the way to the bottom then drag it right into there and click OK bang it should add some stuff now you can X off that you don't need that f you don't need that anymore but you still need Pokemobs open so what I'm going to do is double click that resources remember we still had that file open before bin right what you do is go on dot minecraft you can have a click back or dot minecraft at the top and see resources here what all you're going to do is this resources in the Pokemobs drag it over into thing and you might come up this click yes then there you go uh, when you open it now it'll have mod new sound and stuff like that x off that x off that and all you gotta do is run minecraft now if you have any other mods like um like like i said at the start complete exactly what i did delete the file and all this sort of stuff and you cannot get black screen see i did not get a black screen i'm just gonna start a new world see how I never got black screen so if you copy exactly what I did you'll never get black screen and if you do then you must have missed the part out or not deleted dot minecraft at the start and stuff so yeah you see in the corner it says pokemobs there and you got your E for inventory a little spiderman dude so yeah guys thanks for watching and um, subscribe it's totally free um, so I might be uploading more minecraft tutorials and stuff like that for mods and maybe Text packs, don't know about text packs, but uh, definitely mods. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.